basic edit tutorial. Okay, so when I make my edits, uh, most of the time I use CapCut. So most of the time I use the camera feature on CapCut to record videos. So I just finally click and duplicate it and then the edit button, you go click. Then I go to my camera roll and find the audio that I want to use. And then I crop it to where I want it to be. While I'm doing this, just a quick thing. Disney Plus doesn't let you screen record because it will just show you a gray screen. I'll pull up an example on screen. You can't really see it on screen since it's black, but when you try to take a screenshot or record a video on Disney Plus and most streaming services that you have to pay for, it won't let you record. But if you're editing season three of The Owl House, you can find it on YouTube because I don't know why they just put it on there. But, so this is just me trying to line up the audio. So, I didn't really know what I was doing right now. So it's just lazy edit. So, first thing I do is, like, crop the video to where I want it to be. Or where I want the clip to be. So, as you can see, I had to extend the audio. And so then, I had to cut it off to where I wanted it to be. And if you have excess clips that you don't need, I just delete them. But if I have this clip that's like too short for the audio, I just slow it down. Or if I want it to be slower, but it's too long, I just cut out the rest. Then I apply slow motion, like a smooth one. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. But here's just me like deleting extra clips. Um, so basically what I did here was like what I said earlier, just deleted all the unnecessary video and um, basically just assembling all the clips that I want to be in my edit and I'll post the results later if you want to see them. But what I do is just get all my clips and then delete the extra. And you see where the little white bar is? You're going to click that. And what I do for the white line is go to mask and click on comparison. Don't go do comparison too because um, it's a pro effect. If you are using pro, I screen record. What I'm doing now is putting velocity. So when you click on your clip, click on the little 3D cube that's a style and click on the velocity. Scroll a little bit from the trending and you should find the velocity. I use flash since it's for free and I don't really think the other ones are that good. But basically what I'm doing here is just putting on the flash velocity for all of my clips. So next last thing I do the first and last thing i do but i put my watermark and then i go to font and click on the elixir and then go to glow and and click on the one that isn't pro and i make the glow black or gray something dark so it pops out the elixir font is a pro effect but so the next thing i do is click on the like little animation thing and i just start selecting what animations i want to be on my videos most of the ones I use are pro, but I don't have pro. So what I do is just screen record it and then crop it. Sometimes I don't crop it because I'll show you later. I'm just going to go to it now. Okay, kind of cut me off there. But I'm just like looking through the edit to make sure I did everything right. Sometimes I'm explaining errors. So in the corner of your video, you're going to see the little box. I've got keeps cutting me off. But when you click on the little box, it'll bring you up to a big preview like this. Or the thing you mostly sell my videos. And what I basically do is just screen record from there. And that's basically all of how I make my videos, so that's all. Bye!